What's going on everybody? I am back with another underdog MLB player props video. This one gonna be breaking it down, giving you guys five picks to get you win some money over here on underdog as always. If you haven't checked out underdog, would highly recommend you check them out, guys. It is a player props website and app where you can win money off of picking the over and under on things like players, pitch counts, strikeouts, fantasy points, hits, etc. Go ahead and use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match on your first deposit up to $100 today. Again, that is code KJKDFS, go to lock that in. Get that free money offer. Start winning some money over here on Underdog with these picks today, guys. And if you are getting very serious, I do offer premium content packages. That's linked below in the description. Patreon.com slash KJK underscore DFS. You can go ahead and check those out. You're really looking to get the edge. Um, those just keep getting better and better every single day. I I've been putting more and more processes in place to get a bigger edge over there. So I'm excited about that. And if you enjoy the content, would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. Uh, showing some support on these underdog videos really would help me out. It goes a long way, guys. I know you guys, some of you watch my other content as well. Uh, you know, getting these underdog videos, some, some love really does help out. So let's talk about it. Let's go game by game as we always do. And the first game I want to talk about, is going to be the Tampa Bay Rays taking on the Baltimore Orioles and uh, Shane McClanahan. Got to talk about him today. He's a fantastic play taking on a Baltimore Orioles squad. His stuff is elite. Elite. He's got a 35.7% carry overall with a 16.8% swing strike rate, 36.8% carry against righties, and a 28.8% carry against lefties. So you really can't ask for much more when it comes to Shane McClanahan. And he gets a fantastic matchup taking on a Baltimore Orioles squad that strikes out a ton against left-handed pitching. Look at their lineup up and down. As far as the K rates for these Orioles, starting from the bottom up with the bottom, Mateo, 30, 27, 21, 28, 18, 23, 21, 18, 24, respectively, as far as the K rates are concerned. So a lot of strikeouts to be had in this Baltimore Orioles lineup. Shane McClanahan's got elite stuff, and I expect him to absolutely dominate in this matchup today. If you could have got him at 7.5, uh, that would have been ideal. He is at 8 over here on underdog now, but I'm still going to take the over. I think he strikes out 9 plus in this match, but I really do think he does. And if he hits 8, you know, you push, you you lose a leg of the parlay, but I, I'm really confident in him hitting 8. And honestly, I'm really confident in him getting 9 or 10 here in this matchup. So still going to be rocking with the over 8 strikeouts for Shane McClanahan as pick number 1 here. Pick number 2. We're going to be heading over to the other side of this game. We're going to talk about Spencer Watkins, who is not nearly as good of a talent as Shane McClanahan. As a matter of fact, you look at his stuff, it's pretty bad for the most part, to be honest with you. He's only got a 13.6% carry rate with a 9.2% swing strike rate, 14.4% carry rate against righties, and a 12.5% carry rate against lefties. Gives up a lot of hard contact to righties. However, his strikeout stuff's decent enough, a 9.2% swing strike rate, a 13.6% K rate where I think he can rack up some Ks in this particular matchup against the Rays because they have a lot of strikeouts in their lineup. Uh, starting from the bottom up with this Rays lineup. I mean, this is <laughs> this is a K-heavy lineup, man. Phillips, 39, 32, 32, 28, 18, 25, 25, 26, and 13. So um, this is more of a matchup thing, man. There's only two low strikeout guys in the lineup. Really, it's just Yanni Diaz at the top of the lineup who's got a 13% K rate. They want to get that past him. 26, 25, 25, 18, 28, 32, 32, 39. There's so many strikeouts to be had. Pretty much if Spencer Watkins can just throw the ball over the plate, there's a high likelihood he's going to be able to strike some guys out. I think he can do that in this matchup. And uh, you look at his recent form as far as what he's been doing. I mean, he's been surpassing his K-prop pretty consistently for the most part. Uh, three of his last four games, four, five, three, four, uh, five. So the only one time he didn't was against Texas where he only got three strikeouts. He's ramped up to 84 and 86 pitches, respectively, the last two times out, though. So that goes a long way as far as the pitch on's concerned. Maybe see him get up to 90 plus. And uh, I really like the value here as far as where his line is set. So pick number two. We're going to be rocking with the over three and a half strikeouts here for Spencer Watkins. Like I said, it's really more of a matchup thing than a, and where his line is set at rather than the elite uh, talent that he features. Wouldn't be surprised in the least to see him give up quite a few runs on his uh, way to the, the four strikeouts. But. We don't care, man. We're talking about props here. I like the over three and a half strikeouts for Spencer Watkins. Pick number two. Pick number three. We're going to be heading down to the Atlanta Braves, taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. And we're going to talk about Spencer Strider, who has elite strikeout stuff. Best in the entire slate. Best in the entire league. He's got a 37.9% carry overall with a 15.6% swing strike rate. 42.1% carry against righties and a 34.5% carry against lefties. Uh, he's got electric stuff. He's got 100 plus mile an hour fastball. Just absolute fire. 
as far as his stuff is concerned. And he gets to take on a Philadelphia Phillies lineup that has a lot of strikeouts, especially towards the top of the lineup, uh, which I've been talking about a lot because I think Philly is a lineup that you can target when the K-Prop started to kind of creep up into being in the higher numbers. Uh, being that you consider that you face the top four hitters in the lineup the most amount of times when you're pitching all the way through the lineup multiple times, you know, three, four times, uh, you're going to get the most opportunity to face them if they have high strikeouts. That is good for K-Props, and that's exactly what the Philadelphia Phillies have. So start from the bottom up with Herrera, 21, 20, 14, 15, 19. Then you get to the top with Hall, 32, 26, 26, and 30. So this is what I keep talking about with this Phillies lineup. They're really K-heavy at the top. So even though Spencer Strider's K-Prop has gone all the way to 7.5, I'm still willing to target here with this Elite K stuff. So pick number three. We will be rocking with the strikeouts for Mr. Spencer Strider. Do like the over 7.5 strikeouts for him today, once again. Nice that he gets to face that top of the Phillies lineup with a lot of strikeouts. I think he's able to strike out a lot of those guys at the top on his way to 8-plus strikeouts here. So pick number three, we will be rocking with the over 7.5 strikeouts for Spencer Strider. And pick number four, we're going to go right over to the other side of the game. Aaron Nola, the Atlanta Braves lineup has been the number one offensive target for K's, I mean, for quite some time now it seems. They have a ton of strikeouts, even though they have a ton of talent. Really, what it comes down to with Atlanta is if the pitcher gets blown up, obviously, he might not get you to the K-prop. If he doesn't, you're good. And Aaron Nola is a fantastic pitcher. I do not expect him to get blown up. The guy's elite. Looking at his stuff. 28.1% K-word overall, 11.4% screen strike rate. 3.3% walk rate, doesn't walk anyone. The hard contact stuff's good. He's got a 30.3% K rate against righties and a 25.6% K rate against lefties. And you look at the lineup he gets to face today in the Atlanta Braves. Strikeout, strikeout, strikeout. Starting to find the bottom up with Harris. 22, 25, 28, 21, 25, 24, 24, 27, and 25. Every single hitter in this lineup has a 20 plus percent K rate. You don't see that every day. There's not a single low strikeout guy in this lineup, man. Got to take advantage. So pick number four. We're going to be rocking with the over seven and a half strikeouts for Aaron Nola. Love the play, man. What is there not to like? Aaron Nola, control, doesn't walk anyone. They strike out a ton. His pitch count's way up as well. Uh, as far as his pitch count's concerned, he is a workhorse. You can see 108, 98, 97, 110, 98. So Aaron Nola's in a fantastic spot, man. Here He just struck out 10 plus in Miami. Expect more of the same here against Atlanta. So pick number four. We're rocking with the over seven and a half strikeouts for Aaron Nola. And pick number five. We're going to be heading down to the San Diego Padres taking on the Detroit Tigers. We're going to be talking about Mike Clevenger. He gets take on the Detroit Tigers, who also have a ton of strikeouts in their bats. Looking at Mike Clevenger's strikeout rates on the season as far as how he's faring. 24.7% carry overall with 11.8% swing strike rate. He's got 25.3% carry against righties and a 24.3% carry against lefties. He has been fantastic, and the thing that's really encouraging to me is we're starting to see the pitch count climb up for him. So you're looking at Clevenger. As far as his pitch count, how deep he's going into these ball games, you can see the last few times out. 94, now 83, 98, 86, 81. You look at the strikeouts last time against Arizona, he had 8, 4, 5, 6. So um, starting to kind of get back to the, the old Clevenger. I mean, working his way back from injury, kind of get the pitch count up. He's looking good. He's going six plus innings. He's getting those strikeouts. And uh, he gets a fantastic matchup to strike out a bunch today because the Detroit Tigers have a lot of Ks. Looking at their lineup up and down as far as how they fare, starting from the bottom up with Badu, 25, 29, 20, 24, 30, 25, 17, 26, and 26. So a ton of strikeouts against right-hand pitching. They almost have a 20-plus percent K rate in every guy in the slot, kind of like Atlanta. Only guy that doesn't is Harold Castro. He's still got a 17.9% K rate overall, though. So, um... There's a lot of strikeouts to be had in this Detroit Tigers lineup. I think Mike Clevenger is able to rack up a bunch of them today, and I really do like this pick. So I'm going to be rocking with the over on uh, Mike Clevenger strikeouts here for pick number five. If we can find him, the Detroit game. Let's see. Apologies for the delay. There he is. Over 5.5 strikeouts for Mike Clevenger. That's going to be my five picks to get you winning some money over here on Underdog in the MLB today, guys. You can mix and match these. You can go for the big 20x play if you'd like. Obviously, the more legs that you have, the more risk with the higher payout. If you want to mix and match these, you know, some 3X, some 6X, some 10Xs, you'll be able to maybe 20X your money overall so through mixing and matching if you want to just go for the big one, though. Uh, obviously, you can win big, but they all got to hit. Not saying that they won't. I really do like the picks, but, uh, you know, a little bit more risk, higher reward, whatever you'd like to do. But if you enjoyed the content, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell before you exit out the door. You can check out the premium content if you're interested in that, and make sure you sign up for Underdog today, lock in these picks. Use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match up to $100 on your first deposit. And let's get some W's tonight. Looking for a clean sweep, 5-0. Good luck, guys, and we will see you in the next one.